side. And Santoro looks like he's going there to Jake uh, Mills, it looks like. Uh, so, just about ready now, just waiting for the final few patrons to make their way off the field as the umpire now has his final check around. And we're just about ready to go. Warm conditions as well, so this leaves a handy one for, for Northcote Park. It's, I'm sure we'll see players, we saw it yesterday, players cramping up in the last quarter as well. It's, get, it's getting a bit hotter today. La today is certainly a good five or six degrees warmer than what we had yesterday as the umpire holds the ball off. And we're ready to go here in the third quarter with Northcote Park leading by 21 points. And Dennis gets the first tap down, only as far as Bonnie Davies. Oh, Davies taps it on. Hogan charges at it, so too Delito. He's wrapped up in a great tackle. That'll be holding the ball. And the free kick now for Bandura to be taken by Farrelly. Goes that wide to the Kramer Hotel oh. pocket. Cloak at the spoil from behind as Hogan was getting across the block. His path. Ball falls to David Mitchell. Quick hands out to Farrelly. Good to see their prolific midfielders getting their hands on it early. He's wrapped up in a big tackle. We'll have a ball up on the far wing. I like the start from the intensity from the Bandura boys. Obviously have to be up and about early. And at the start of the second half, they've uh, been very intense around the contest and, and uh, used the ball uh, nicely throughout the stoppages. But they're going to have to use it with their feet going inside forward 50. They've got an opportunity here through a free kick. Dennis goes long inside forward 50. Good mark taken there by Cameron Cloak. And immediately he has had an impact once he's gone to that forward half. Had to be done, didn't it? They had to go out and win the game. And... We mentioned just in that break that Mitchells, Farrelly's, Cloaks can all step up uh, their output and, and what do you know, we've, we've played a minute in this uh, third quarter, they've all had their hands on the footy and now Cloak to have a shot at goal from, well their time he kicks about 45 metres out, no angle really to speak of, one of the premier forwards in the Northern Football League competition, Cloak comes in very slow approach, we saw him kick some barrels out of uh, and a fullback when he was kicking out, kick on goal, looks to be missing near side, he hasn't got a uh, good connection on that one and just the minus st score to start the quarter for Cameron Cloak. It moves Bandura to 3 goals, 6-24, Northcote Park, 6-8-44, oh. that kick out there is a long one, it's a big mark taken again by Nick Carter overhead, he's just so deceptive, he's He's not blessed with uh, great height, he's, he's a tallish midfielder half back and uh, he's able to take a good mark overhead. That kick though, he handed off to McNeese, it ends up out of bounds on the full, on the far side. So in fact, it came off hands in fact, so we'll have a throw in on centre wing. Flynn to do the ruck work against Dennis, as the umpire brings the ball back into play. Fighting for front spot, Scanlon got up, third man up, tapped it to the front of the pack to the leader. Handled into space looking for the leader, but the boundary line beats him. Played just over two minutes in this third term. Bandura with the only score. It's a minor score. Having kicked the goal now for over a quarter. Didn't kick one in the second. Last one coming late stages of that first term. Throw in goes again. Flynn won it to the front. At the front of the pack again is a letter handball at the back now. Couldn't find a target. Now the ball going Bandura's way. Michael Mitchell kicking up the line, looking for Marshall, mm -hmm. finding him just inside the boundary line. Marshall now looks up to a leading clock, he's already presenting well. He's being manned up by Considine, he's up here. Still a good 80 metres out from his goal. Goes long down the line, Bonnie Davies, so he's gonna get across there and mark in front of Gary Moorcroft. The kick was into the space, but uh, Davies just read it well and, and got across to take the defensive mark. Experienced player sitting in the hole, Bronick Davies, lovely work there, and now he chips over the top, they move slightly further afield. And now Ben McNeese with a long kick out from fullback. Beautiful kick and hits. Uh, Nick Carter once again who's been absolutely brilliant in the first half another good start to this quarter he goes in short with that kick not his best for the day straight to Carmuciano he goes to Shaw through the middle of the ground they're running and that's a nice kick out to oh, half forward probably should have been taken that mark and now a little chip over the top to Cloak and he's taken a beautiful mark he's about 40 metres out uh, deep on the angle there in the right forward pocket so it's going to be a difficult kick but that was better ball movement from the Bulls and they're, they're starting to run properly yeah that kick by Carter well, he had the man in in plenty of space, but he, he just overcooked the kick, didn't he? And a, a fast break for Bandura, and they certainly uh, made or well, making the Cougars pay with Cloak now having a shot at goal. And Ben Mitchell, you heard the umpire's whistle going in the background there, and everyone on the ground thought he'd take the mark, and he, he just spilt uh, what was a, a really basic chest mark as Cloak comes in now. Harder shot than the last one, much closer to the boundary line. Kick off the boot, looks pretty good, just won't have the carry. Har Harrison got good hands on it, couldn't take the mark. Violato somehow got a kick out of the pack, and he finds a target. That man down back, looks like it's found Considine. Told to hurry it along now, chipping short, finding Carter. Carter now by hand to Scanlon, running out of the fence, kicks it up for Hogan, has to mark, gets a, some uh, body contact there from Farrelly. 
He's got Bronick Davies all by himself over the top. He finds him. He can get get it in go now. Gives it straight back to Hogan, who takes a bounce. He ball did not come back to him though. He ran away without it. Went back in again. So too oh. Davies picked it up one hand and then flicked it out the back down to Mills. Mills stops and props. Looking to give to Lorenzini. He was manned up. Mills just backs his judgment. No or look away handball. Finds Morris. Morris from 60 goes out wide. It hasn't been a clean passage of play. And uh, the ball ends up out of bounds on the full. Probably a fitting way to end that, that little passage. There are a few turnovers there by the Cougars. And so it's going to be Matt Brown from uh, full back and he brings it in. That was a little bit of a dice kick, but uh, free kick. Uh, Michael Mitchell infringed there by Paul Scanlon. He'll have it centre half back. He's got Dennis as a target further down the field, but there's a couple of men manned up on him. One of them, Lorenzini. Uh, he's still looking to that side of the ground, Mitchell, and now he goes with that high ball in the direction of Dennis. He came off his hands. Uh, nice work by Brown to shark the pack. Kicks it beautifully up to Cloak at half forward. He can now bring it into the middle. A couple of Bandura players converging on the footy. Carter does well to get back and fill in the hole. Still Bandura here. Nice work by Carmugiano. Pops it over the top. That mark is taken by Paul Harrison, 30 ma 35 metres out, almost directly in front. And this is going to be a very important kick for Paul Harrison. Could put through his fourth goal. How much better do they look with Cloak up forward already? He's taken three marks already, or four marks in fact, since, got, since going up forward. We've only played five and a half minutes in this third term. He's getting his hands on the footy, working its way up. And now a chance for Harrison to kick what would be his fourth goal of the afternoon. It would be Bandura's fourth as well. It would trim the margin back to 14 points. The start of this quarter well, deserve a goal for their efforts. As Harrison comes in, it's a high ball, but it's a straight one. And it's in for a goal for Paul Harrison. As goal umpire Kirsty Lord gives the all clear, 14 years old Kirsty Lord is, and she's officiating here in a Division 1 first semi final. Superb effort, and Bandura back in the contest. The Bulls, 4 6 30, Northcote Park, 6 8 44. Does the stat sheet, uh, Michael, indicate that the Bulls are getting back into the contest because they're certainly winning their fair share of the footy? Uh, it does. They've got five inside 50s to one up, uh, seven minutes into the, into the third quarter, and they've had three marks inside 52 to Cloak and the one just send to Harrison. If they can get Moorcroft involved, watch out, because uh, the, the forward line is functioning the way that we've uh, been accustomed to over the last few years from Bandura. Dennis in the ruck there. He uh, won it down, but only as far as Davies, who's now breaking through the middle, gave the hands off to Delenio. He can have a shot here from 48 metres out. It's not a bad kick. It goes straight over the umpire's hat. Instant reply there for Northcote Park. Beautiful effort there from uh, Matt Delenio, and he's increased it back to a 20-point margin. That's a... That's a uh, Kick down low for the Bandura boys. It's, uh, it certainly hurts that one there. They've just worked so hard to get that first goal. It took them six and a half minutes after the dominance they've had in the quarter. And then uh, Hello was still jotting down that last goal there for, for Harrison. And, and before you know it, it's a goal to the leader down the other end. The fast reply, and that certainly hurts the, uh, the Bandura fateful as the ball now put down in the middle of the ground again. Tap forward, Farrelly running onto it. He fumbled the ball though, couldn't take it cleanly. Got it off now. Palazzolo went the handle back to Farrelly, a bit of smothered. Flynn, the big man, trying to reach down and grab it. Dennis got there first. Handball's inside 50. Dennis goes again. Plenty numbers around, and Northcote Park are going to get the clean ball. Lorenzini, well, he's handball smothered as well, going back in the traffic. Taken by Marshall on the wing, kicking up, finding the skipper, Shaw, at half forward. 30 plays 50. Third term, eight minutes in. Ball now kicked inside, looking for Cloak on the long lead. Too wide, though, and the ball ends up out of bounds on the full. Said that a few times this quarter. Both, both sides... Suffering with some uh, some poor skill execution in the early stages of the third. He's leading out extremely deep into those pockets, Cloak, where Harrison stays at home in the goal square. And Harrison's ripped the rewards of uh, staying close to home with the four goals. Now here's another chance for Bandura. Off that contest came to Stellas. He swung around inside 450 in the direction there of Moorcroft. It wasn't paid. It was touched initially by a Northcote Park player, uh, but then brought down and tackled straight away. So there'll be a bounce about 20 metres out from the uh, Bandura goal. Here's Cloak in the ruck again against his direct opponent, Considine. Quick kick out of the pack there from Carline, I think it was. Straight out in the full, under pressure, that kick. So it's going to be a Northcote Park ball in the left back pocket. Certainly uh, really having their crack at this contest now, aren't they, Bandura? They know they have to respond. Trailed at halftime. The margin there was, was uh, well, 22 points. Now it's 20 points. Well, 21 points, in fact, at halftime. So they've only narrowed it by one point. But you can certainly tell that their uh, intensity is lifted. The ball in the hands now of the Northcote Park skipper in Davies. Chip short. He finds Nick Carter, who's been sensational today. Chips it up, looking for O'Connell. Takes a strong mark overhead. Receives some hard treatment there from Carmuciano, who only knows one way, really. And that's to go hard at the footy. O'Connell. 
No one on the, on the mark, he chips it forward and finds Wunton on a long lead. Now look at the space of that forward 50. Plenty of space for Kelly to lead into. He's going to have to wait underneath his foot. He hits Hogan. the ground. Hogan's going to be first to it. Can he keep Ooh. it? He can't. It's out of bounds. But it's at the right end if you're a Northcote Park supporter. 20 metres out from their goal. Scoreboard reads 4 6 30. That's Bandura. Northcote Park, 7 goals, 8 50. 7 individual goal kickers for Northcote Park, whereas Bandura, just the one. That's Harrison with all 4 goals. Throw in deep. O'Connell goes third man up, taps it forward. Mills couldn't quite trap it. He was in the, uh, in the path of the footy, but couldn't take it as the clock ticks over 10 minutes in the third quarter. Now the ball to be thrown in against deep in the forward pocket. Serious opportunity for a goal here for Northcote Park and it would really hurt the Bulls if they could get one here. Dangerous spot for a stoppage. Wunton won that one. Over the back, Carmuciano did well to rove it. Kicks it long to a one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Carter up against Shaw. Carter wins out, does very nicely. Gave it off to Lorenzini. We know he likes to use his left foot. He does so now. Brings it inside 50 mark. He attempt at the back. Almost taken there by Morris, uh, who was manned up by Carline. But... Uh, couldn't quite take it. He dropped it just on the second attempt and it's going to be a bounce about 35 metres out. McLennan was, was streaming in as well. I reckon it was uh, Morris who actually halted him from getting, getting that ball, fighting with him. So a chance to miss there, but McLennan's uh, taking his footy. Look at him go. How oh. quick he is. He picks up. He's a left foot kick, so this is going to favour him. And he might have just worked a miracle from the pocket. Brock McLennan has kicked an absolute beauty and in doing so becomes Northcote Park's first multiple goal kick. He just attacked the ball from the, from the contest, running towards the boundary, but... It worked in his favour because, as you know, the left foot kickers like to kick across their body and he was able to do that. Worked it from the left goalpost back to the right. And all of a sudden, after Bandura looked good in the opening 10 minutes of this quarter, the lead's actually been extended since half-time. Northcote Park, 8-8-56. Bandura, 4-6-30. The Bulls, pardon me, the Cougars with the last two. Great goal to Brock McLennan, deep on the boundary in the left forward pocket. Now the ball back in the middle. Wing that one down was Flynn. Uh, tried to get it out. Now Moorcroft has gone into the middle. He gets the ball here. Goes with a long left foot kick in the direction of Harrison. He's got two to beat. He may get a free kick here. He will. Paul Harrison with another free kick. He's 25 metres out directly in front. This time Villado hanging on again as he was with that free kick there in the first quarter and uh, once again Paul Harrison with another opportunity. He's been the, uh, the man down forward hasn't he Harrison? He, you saw then drawn the, uh, the second man across, McNeese got across but Fylardo and his attempts to, uh, to, to stop Harrison's run up the footy has given away a free kick and this would be a great effort by Harrison who can kick his fifth. He's been the, uh, as we said, the standout forward for them and he's really keeping his side in this contest. He's going to come in, he'll kick it from probably 30 by the time he comes in, 25 at best, comes in, kick off the boot, looks pretty good, and Paul Harrison has five goals for the afternoon, and the Bulls get a quick reply. Bandura, five goals, 6.36, Northcote Park, 8.8.56. A few momentum shifts early in this quarter here, and uh, the Bulls, well, they're just hanging in there thanks to Harrison. That's an important piece of play. I'll tell you why, because Gary Moorcroft got involved and did something uh, that was important and led to a goal. And we haven't seen that so far today. We've seen it plenty of times this year. He's kicked 70 goals for the year and Cameron Cloak's kicked 52. None for those two today, but finally getting involved for both of them. Dennis hacks that one out of the air after tapping it down to his foot and it lands in the arms of Brent Marshall. Here is another chance for Bandura. Goes inside in the direction of Cloak. It's going to bounce right in front of him. He's going to have to beat two there on the outer side. Good tackle by Considine. Throws him out of bounds. There'll be a throw in. 13 minutes played, third term, it's Bandura, 5-6-36, Northcote Park, 8-8-56. The umpire to throw it in, it's at half forward here for Bandura. As the umpire brings it back into play, Dennis flew from the back, tapped down the front of the pack though, Carter. Somehow got out of the traffic, handball back to McNeese, put him under the pump, allowed Farrelly to run through, left foot kick, threw it on the boot and it finds David Mitchell. Mitchell now might be just beyond him. He plays on straight away. Kick at goal. Might just have the carry. It's going to miss to the near side though. Harrison was filthy. He had plenty of space here on the near side and he was leading into just open pastures where there were no defenders within 20 metres of him. But uh, Mitchell didn't see him. Went for goal and uh, it's one behind. Back to a 19 point ball game here. Bandura still need the next goal to stay in touch going in the last quarter. Great spoil there from Joey Winton after the clear and kick. Uh, was headed for Carline but did a good effort to get it out of bounds there. Joey Winton. So it's the Cougars here by 19 points. The winner to take on Montmorency in next week's preliminary final. Ball gets at the back with that. Either Ruckman putting up a hand. Leder went without it. Shaw went in hard. Umpire calls for the ball. And uh, Michael Hogg with the stats this quarter. How are the Bulls going on that stat sheet? Bulls are going really good with inside 50s 10 to 4 and they are winning clearance. They just... They are going to win that clearance. 
there are eight to five with clearances. We can add another one to it now because it's in the hands of David Mitchell. Floating kick forward, looking Ooh. for Clive. Bounced off his chest. He was leading hard at that foot. He falls to Farrelly. Left foot shot on goal. Misses near side. But it makes it an even three goal ball game. Bandura, 5 8 38. Northcote Park, 8 8 56. Next goal is huge. If the Bulls get it, well, back to a two, ball, two goal ball game. But uh, conversely, for the Cougars, a goal here would, would really hurt Bandura. So far this quarter, it's been two goals apiece. As that kick out goes to Brock McLennan, who's been great since quarter time with strong overhead mark in front of Gary Moorcroft. Chewy Scanlon's been perfect with the kick out so far today. I haven't seen him stuff one up yet, and that one into the corridor, a dangerous area, but it was a pitcher perfect kick for McLennan, and that one was even better from him over the top to Carter. And now Carter can use the ball again, and we know he does use that well normally, but that kick wasn't great, went straight to Stellas. Oh. That kick was even worse from Stellas. Interception by Hogan, intercepted. Uh, Brent Marshall over the top there. Now Hogan with the long right foot kick to centre half forward. Chance for uh, O'Connell to take the mark, but a good uh, diving mark over the top by Matty Hyde. We know he loves to do that. And now he switches it out wide. They've got the runners there. Uh, Braden Shaw picking up on the halfback, flanking go uh, short, and he does find his option there over the top. Uh, he's got a couple of men in the middle of the ground. This is James Lord. He can get it to Stellis, or he can go further down the ground the direction of Cloak, who's going to go for this marking contest. Went over the back of the, his head, but he picked it up on the half volley, tried to snap it. Good smother, and it goes out of bounds there on the outer side. A lot of play on that outer side. Those two uh, two kicks there were just two shockers, weren't they? The first one by Carter has been great today, but the second time this quarter he turned over on the inside, and, and then that kick to allow Hogan back into it. They were away there, the Bulls, if uh, they had to hit the target. That number's spreading to that far side, but uh, the turnover probably cost them a goal as the ball now extracted from the midfield. Kick towards goal is going to land in the goal square over the head of Harrison though. Getting back, Lorenzini will run onto it. Can he take it cleanly? He can a swooping handle over to that man in Michael O'Connell. Michael O'Connell takes a bounce. He is a left foot kick. Gets around now on the arc. Looking for his brother Patrick. He went up the ball, got a hand on it. Picked up though by Brown. He was slow to get rid of it. Good tackle by Nordrit. Well, the ball up. Right between the two interchange benches there. He's been a good player, Nordra, another one of their role players in that midfield. Oh, the umpire's called play on after this ball up. The Ruckman were both taken down by each other. Mitchell gave it out to Carmuciano. High kick from Carmuciano. Cloak takes a big mark, free kick not paid. And uh, now he's 50 metres out, slight angle. It's a very difficult kick from here, but you back Cameron Cloak almost. I tell you, Violato had a great day last weekend, but he moved on to Cloak now, and he was the one that was shifted off that footy here, and Cloak certainly been superb since pushing forward and a chance he still hasn't kicked the goal this afternoon he's had a few chances this quarter but he's certainly looked a million dollars really since he's pushed up and uh, and given them a target to kick to as Cloak comes in to become Bandura's second goal kicker of course Harrison with all five goals kick off the boot looks pretty good has the carry and it's back to a two goal ball game the Bulls are back in town six goals 8.44 Northcote Park 8.8.56 and it's been a great quarter here for Bandura. Cameron Cloak's 53rd of the year, his first for the day, and he's proving to be a massive influence in this third quarter. I think he just sent a message to the Northcote Park boys that Bandura aren't going to lie down easily. They're going to be coming right to the final siren, and it's a 12-point ball game, as you said, and this contest is very hot at the moment. Now the ball back in the middle. Matty Dennis back into the ruck. He's going to be going up against Wunton. Two of the premier ruckmen of this NFL competition. Dennis won that one down. Wunton picked it up off the ground. O'Connell spun out of that little tackle and kicked it up to half forward. Rajab could have been paid the mark. Maybe just dropped it. Now Noldrit went in hard. Good work by Carmuciano to get a foot in there. Good tackle again by Noldrit. It's going to be held to the uh, Bundura player at the bottom of that pack. It's going to be yet another bounce. That was David Mitchell. The crowd knows this game is hanging in the balance. Now, isn't it? They've really stepped it up as Dennis wins it down emphatically to David Mitchell. Switching ball to Michael Mitchell. He kicks it looking for Carmuciano, had to sit under it, couldn't take the mark but picked it up when he hit the ground. Pardon me, hits Stellis now. Stellis running through, long kick, top of the square. Big, oh, oh. a chance for Harrison. Initially, Constantine had slipped over. Hambles looking for the boundary. Wunton chases after it. Hambles off to Hogan. Hogan kicking up the line, looking for his skipper. Davies goes over his head. Michael Mitchell now handballing over the top, finds Carl Lyon. Quick kick round the body, ball hits the ground, very close to the boundary line, still stays in. Now the kick inside forward 50, it's two on one. Violato gets back and takes the uh, the mark in front of Cloak. Violato now looking for options, looking to switch it. No one really keeps There's a man at the back if you can spot him. He can't. Scanlon has to sit under it. He couldn't. Now it's going to be a turnover and can't. In fact, Palazzolo had all the time in the world to pick it up. 
It's set up to, to hack it out of the air and it's a minor score, but Bandura is pressing. Six goals, nine, 45. Northcote Park, eight, eight, 56. Bandura has kicked the last two goals, three, since that goal from Brock McLennan. Violato off the ground, I reckon that's uh, going to be important for the next few minutes. If Bandura get it in deep, he's not there to cover cloak. That kick coming out from half back for Northcote Park, it's going to be a free kick. Bronk Davies was held as he tried to take the mark. He can switch across the ground if he likes. He's got uh, Flynn and O'Connell in those positions, but he decides to go further down the ground into a one-on-one. -on -one. Over the back is Morris. He beats Stellis for pace, and he's uh, used the ball nicely inside forward 50. O'Connell, beautiful work, floating into that space, and he just rose at the right time and took a beautiful mark. And that's why the uh, coaches say when you're in the under 10s, kick on both feet, because Morris there running on his opposite foot, a lovely centering ball on his left to O'Connell who just floated across the front of the pack but he did really well there, he bodied, he bodied his man under the foot, he ran back onto it, knew what he was doing and then got onto his, uh, onto his left and sent it perfectly and O'Connell now comes in and kicks the steadying goal for Northcote Park just as Bandura was threatening down the other end, Northcote Park go down once and they kick the goal, the Cougars now will, it's back out to a 17 point mar margin, Northcote Park 9-8-62, Bandura Six goals, 9.45, and that would have been the first inside 50 for some time there for Northcote Park. Uh, yeah, that's a, that was their fifth inside 50 for the quarter compared to Bundaroo's 15, but unfortunately for the Bulls, they've got three goals from their four A's inside 50, and that was also Northcote Park's third goal from five entries. Taking yeah. their opportunities, the Cougars, and uh, that's what you have to do in big finals like this. Back in the middle of the ground, the two rucks to go at it. Dennis wins that one down. Moorcroft in the middle of the ground, as I said before. He does very nicely to get the clearance. Long left football inside forward 50. James Lord at the back tries to take a mark. Brent Marshall also there. Good work uh, by Wunton standing in the hole. It's half halfback. He does nicely deliver the ball to Mickey O'Connell on the wing in front of us. He's got Rajab further afield if he wants to go there. He does decide to go in that sort of direction. Rajab's going to be skirting the back of this pack. Good spoil over the top. James Lord's been good at centre half back. He does nicely there as well. Big long kick in the direction of Cloak. Came off his hand. Ooh. Northcote Park with the ball again. Carl Lyons stripped the man of it. Uh, O'Connell whacking and hard again there for Northcote Park. Now a chance here for Bandura. Braden Shaw just with a high up and under in the air. Hogan takes a good relieving mark. Paul Harrison was running like a steam train into the back of him but great courageous mark there by Hogan not knowing what was behind him and he switches out to Scanlon in front of our commentary wing here and now he goes uh, short into the middle he finds Daniel Leto who's been a pretty promising player today he's been very good uh, on that wing there he's a good ball user and he can go further afield and find an option Coleman is at this at the fall of this contest but a big mark over the top there lovely work there by Dennis uh, took it over Carter if uh, Dennis was a smaller man, that would have been a screamer, but he's a big man and he goes long to Cloak and he takes another massive mark and can swing around on the right foot straight away. He's got men drifting into space. Oh, brilliant challenge from Hogan. Stop Brent Marshall taking the uncontested mark. Now a little handball back. Scanlon's got it again. He's going to have to work hard to get rid of this ball. Handball's out wide. Tries to find O'Connell. Misses him and it's out of bounds. Anthony Hogan twice now. First one running back with the flight, taking the mark in front of uh, Harrison. That time there, the... Uh, the spoil, but how good Clark been since going forward? You, mm. you just wonder whether he, the change should have been made earlier. I know they weren't really getting the ball down there in the second quarter, but he's been prolific. He's marking everything coming his way. That time there, just bundled out two defenders and took the big mark on the chest. Just such a, a big presence up forward. Has the ball now. Another ball up inside forward 50 for the Bulls. They're making their charge this quarter here. They haven't really had too much of an impact on the scoreboard, though. It's uh, just bringing in the margin by four points. It was 21 at half time. It's now 17, 45. Plays 62. They've definitely been the better team in general play this quarter, but as we were saying before, haven't been able to make the most of their opportunities. Really important for them to get the next goal and the last goal uh, before the end of this quarter, going into three-quarter time, just for a bit of a morale boost, because they have been the better side in this quarter. Carter gets the free kick. Now he kicks long up to the wing. Numbers all with Bandura. Northcote Park attempt the boundary, and it ricochets off the leg there of uh, Brod Gray, and we'll have a throw in. In front of the Northcote Park bench, leading this contest 45 to 62. Umpire throws it in. Dennis up against Flynn. One to the front of the pack. Mitchell looking to run onto it. Overrun it in the end. Going in hard there. Letter. Ball from the pack. Shaw got it out the back somehow to Mitchell. Kicking it down the line. Cloak. Can he die for it? He can't. And the ball goes out of bounds. Clever kick by Mitchell if Cloak had have got there, but just a little bit short. Got him on the half volley. Considine, it's uh, two big roles from in, in a row now, obviously with Rocker last week and, and Cloak uh, this way. It's uh, something they put on the CV, I guess, at the end of the day as he uh, comes up now in the ruck contest. Wunton, double tap almost there. Ball falls from the pack, letter in and amongst it. Can't pick up the footy now, drag back in and we'll have a ball up. 
in front of the canteen there at, uh, at Preston City Oval. Plenty of fans around this one here, waiting for uh, for Mitchell to get it back to the umpire. Three goals apiece this quarter. Cloak to do the ruck work against Winton. Winton kept his feet, slapped it forward, but only as far as Shaw, snapping the ball back inside. Lorenzini spores from behind and picked up by McNeese. Oh. His kick smothered though. Now running in. Mitchell, can he take control? He couldn't. Handball to the top of the goal square. It's going to be a free for a hold though. And it's going to go the way of Michael Mitchell and from point blank range shouldn't have any troubles bringing the margin back to 11. Trying to take advantage. None giving. But the... The Bulls are just hanging in there. Great work, a great smother there on the Ben McNeese kick sets up this goal. And that free kick, it was just a bit of a late hit after uh, Mitchell got the handball off. Uh, uh, we're under a bit of pressure there, Northcote Park, so understandably the free kick was conceded at ground level. But uh, it's going to be Michael Mitchell, who's been a pretty good player today. Normally uh, plays off the back line, he snuck forward here, and he can pop this one through for his first goal of the day, and he does so nicely. Pitch a perfect kick. And Bundura, Bundura draw closer again. It's back to an 11-point ball game. And as we said, that was an inver a very important goal going into three-quarter time. Winning the ball out of the, uh, the, the contested uh, possession now as well, aren't they? Sure, they he was great to get that ball at the back to David Mitchell, who's winning plenty of the football as well. And, and their better players really getting their hands on it. Mitchell, we mentioned Farrelly. Obviously, Cloak as well. I've seen Moorcroft accord to them a couple more times this quarter as well. And they really are pushing hard as they want that preliminary final spot. Standing in their way is though Northcote Park leading by 11 points. Another clearance for Bundura getting back there and taking another fine overhead mark is Nick Carter. Sensational. Which way will he go now? I'm sure he'll go long. He's turned two short ones over. He does this time now. Finding Rajab who's been relatively quiet. Rajab marks on the wing. Plays on straight away into the heart of the ground. Kicking long Ooh. into centre half forward. Bailardo is attacking the ball but the siren sounds. And at three quarter time the game hangs in the balance. It's Northcote Park. Nine goals, eight sixty-two. Bandura seven nine fifty-one. The goal kickers for Bandura. Harrison has five of their seven goals. He had their first five, in fact. Since then, goals to Cloak and Michael Mitchell get their score up to seven nine fifty-one. Northcote Park has kicked nine goals today. Only made multiple goal kicker is Brock McLennan. He has two singles to Matthew Delidio. Patrick O'Connell, Nick Carter, Nia Burakali, Coden Coleman, and Mitch, pa Mitch Pappas, and Doug Morris, in fact. And at three quarter time here in the first semi final, Northcote Park 9 8 62, Bandura 7 9 51. It's shaping as a great game. Don't, ch don't turn your dial. You're listening to 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. Didn't play in the finals, well, haven't played in the finals for a couple of years now, and they've certainly made their uh, presence known. On, on arrival, beating West Preston Lakeside by 28 points last weekend and now leading by 11, a similar margin last weekend as well, it must be said. I think they might have led by 13 points going into the final change and uh, kicked the first couple of goals and that was probably the ball game there. And, what? Do you feel that Cloak and Moorcroft have to be big for them to win this game? No doubt about it. We saw yeah. the importance of Cloak that quarter and needs a similar uh, impact as the, uh, as the fourth quarter gets go. underway. Is, Hogan sucking off the ground. In fact, it's Morris out wide. Shaw got a little dinky kick over the top into the oncoming path of Santoro. Santoris getting it back to Shaw. Broke through the tackle. Handballs inside forward 50. Farrelly leads Lorenzini to the ball. And uh, he's wrapped up straight away. And we'll have a, a ball up 50 metres out from Bundura's goal. And the two rucks going in here again. Flynn against Dennis. Dennis won that one down to no advantage for Bundura. Delidio picked it up off the back. Long right foot kick out the half forward. Trying to pick that one up on the half volley there was uh, was Kelly, I think it was, but Pappas, little Pappas actually. A uh, little handball back from Stellis did well for Bandura, and now they're moving back inside. The ball bounced over Carter's head. Davies took possession. Good tackle by Carmuciano at half forward there for Northcote Park. Just that intensity there from Bandura. The gang tackle there, Farley getting involved. I think it was uh, Carmuciano got the back as well. Two big tackles laid on uh, Davies there. Good to see him up and about as Davies now. Couldn't take the ball away from the contest. A free kick's going to be paid for Gary Moorcroft. Here we go. It's an open forward on now. Three on three. Gets it in quickly. Looking for Cloak. It's just going to land in front of him. Winton kept his feet. Interestingly, Winton at centre half back on Cloak now. Taken out there by McNeese. Long on his non-preferred boopers. His opponent for most of the day who takes that mark. It's Moorcroft. Chipping back inside for David Mitchell. They've looked a lot better since Moorcroft moved in the middle at the start of that third quarter. I did a spark indeed. As Mitchell now on the wing. Told to play on from the umpire. Chips it up the line, finds a teammate there. 
Palazzolo now into space for Santoro can play on. Now he's up on the boundary line. Where it meets the 50 Harrison. meter arc. Harrison's gonna fly from behind. Constantine, big score from the front. Winton did well. Got it out to Davies. He was calm there. On to Hogan to Scanlon. All by hand. Scanlon now turns. Dangerous kick inside, but it finds Doug Morris, who's had a great final series. Morris, still 40 meters out from his defensive goal. Goes that wide. Kick looking for Deledio, it's going to find him now. Good strong lead by Deledio, Marks overhead. Now Matthew Deledio, kicked a great goal in the third term, goes long down the line and he finds a target there. Carter, kicking inside for Morris. Long kick straight into the forward line. Violato stream out of full forward, hits him at ground level at the ankles. He's tapped it up to himself, kept his foot in, couldn't control it the second time around. And we'll have a throw in. Interesting to see that Wunton's gone back now to take Cloak. Violato couldn't shut down either of Harrison or Cloak when he's on them. He's gone forward and, and hopefully can turn his game around for the Cougars. But uh, they lose a bit with, with Wunton going back. Yes, they do. They certainly do because he's a big marking target and can create some serious problems for any defence, uh, especially this Bandura defence without Shelton and Hyatt. Uh, that one's gone off a few hands and rolled out of bounds there on the outer side. Still an 11 point ball game. Northcote Park 9 goals, 8 62, leading Bandura 7 9 51 in this first semi final here at the Preston City Oval. We've played three minutes in this last quarter. Throw in, attacking the footy there is Mitchell. Don't get a free kick for a high one. In fact, it's Moorcroft. Gary Moorcroft kicks it up the line, looking for his teammate there and Farrelly over his head. Spool came from uh, Lorenzini, now streaming through Davies, handles it on. There are a chance, it had numbers, now going through there. Might be Hogan, is it long kick on goal is going to be a minor score. And what Jason Heatley stressed in the quarter time huddle, deny control for the Bandura midfielders. And they've been doing that very nicely, the Northcote Park boys, at the start of this last quarter. And they have been doing it pretty much all day, apart from a few lapses in that third term. Now a 12 point margin yet again. It's 7 goals, 9 51, playing 9 goals, 9 63. Northcote Park in front. The kick out, well, they're saying that he's in, gone over the line there. That's a Matthew tough call. Matthew Hyde has been pink for that one, and the ball goes back. They had numbers out there as well. Dennis had pushed to that next contest, so the ball goes back to the Northcote Park goal square to do the ruck work. Thick cloak at centre forward. Dennis is the one down forward. Violato taps out the back. A snap on goal. Might be a goal. And how costly is that proven now? Rajab is the man who's swung that one around the body on the left boot. And a telling, a telling blow really against Bandura pressing hard and to give a free kick away from an infringement like stepping out the mark from from a, a kick in is just not what the, what they needed at this this time of the game. Yeah, footy so cruel sometimes. Matty Hyde, he's had such a great year off that halfback. He's one of the prolific runners for Bandura. Probably uh, didn't deserve something like that to happen to him, but uh, unfortunately made the silly mistake of stepping over the line and we all know that you can't do that when you're kicking out from full back. So uh, disappointing for Bandura, but Northcote Park, they grab a cheap one. Rajab with a nice goal there and the scores 7-9 uh, to 10-9. Northcote Park's favour, they lead by 18 points and the ball now back in the middle. Uh, that one wrapped up straight away. Carline laid a good tackle there at the bottom of the pack on Scanlon. We saw them do this last week as well. They led by two goals at three quarter time, kicked the first two and really put the game beyond West Preston Lakeside. Can they do a similar a similar thing today as Stellas Marks at centre half back, chipping across for Braden Shaw, he's been great today. Shaw Marks, half back, kicking up the line, looking for Dalbridge, just ran under the footy a bit, and a great spoil from behind came from Ben McNeese. His closing speed is remarkable, he's got that leap as well. All the, uh, the attributes of a, a seriously good defender, isn't he? And uh, he's yep. having a great season. As the ball's thrown in now, McNeese up against Flynn, uh, pardon me, it's Dennis up against Flynn. Dennis in the front spot, one it down to Santoro, kicks smothered. McNeese traps it, handballs quickly to Deledio. They're on the spread now. Lorenzini will take this one, can give it back, which he does. And Deledio, look at him go, he's at the pace over Mitchell there. Kicks it out, looking for Pappas against Barbero. Barbero does really well and takes the big mark. And it's going to get 50 uh -huh. for his efforts too. So Barbero marked it, it's and a half back. He's going to move to now within probably 70 metres of his goal. He goes from one end of the centre square to the other and giving that 50 away was Mitch Pappas. Barbero goes inside with that oh. kick. He's looking for the lead there of Marshall but it was cut off by Carter who just read it. Kicks it now. Mark needs to be taken. Not there by Rajap but at the back there was McLennan. Bandura had the numbers otherwise but it did fall to the back. McLennan kicking the centre half forward. Who's going to fly? It's O'Connell he did. He couldn't get two hands on the footy. Shaw now at centre half back. Clears for his team. Finds Moorcroft right in the centre circle. Gets around Davies. Handball's off now. Stagnant. 
Gray. Now it's a Shaw. Shaw's kick, getting there. Hogan may have gotten the back of his opponent there. The umpire said he did. And the free kick now with David Mitchell on the 50 metre arc. Yeah, Mitchell can set it up to Dennis or Cloak or Harrison. They're all down there in the goal square. And I think he will go for that option because there aren't many short passes on. Harrison tried to make a short pass for him. Went over his head. Good work there by McNeese to tap it away from Cloak. And then a little handball out to Hogan who gave away the free kick initially. Actually, it's Morris there. Uh, and he did very nicely. Kicked it up to half forward. Good mark there by uh, Mitch Pappas. He swings around straight away. Tries to get it out wide to Violato. Just dropped the mark. Tried to pick it up on the half volley. McLennan's been good. He breaks through a player there. He swings around from 50 metres out, nice little kick inside to Coleman, bounced over his head, still a chance for a goal here for Northcote, good defending to, uh, to keep it away from that goal square, so it's just rolled through for a rush behind I would think, I think that was Radjab who was, it was uh, he was probably better off to, uh, to just go the hack out of the air and, and try one there, just couldn't control it, but uh, a minor score, Northcote Park, 10-10-70, Bandura 7-9-51, we've played now 7 minutes in the final quarter, long kick out's a good one. Fine Santoro now kicks up to the wing looking for Cloak one on one with Winton. Winton's done well. Cloak might have hurt himself here. Cloak's limping at the back of the pack now. Ball moves off the field though, and David Mitchell in space at half forward goes looking for Harrison. Harrison. Might have him on the lead. He's got him. And Cloak will just keep an eye on him. Looks to be okay walking it out. He looked like he grabbed it at, at a hamstring or back of the leg there, but um, looks to be okay. He takes a sip of water and Harrison marks. Interesting one there, we saw Violato go for the line at the ankles, couldn't quite hold on. Very similar ball, and Harrison does. It's been a difference between their two days, isn't it? Harrison's yes. been white hot, really. Five goals, been the best of the Bandura four, was almost their best player, you'd say. And Violato just hasn't been his day just yet as Harrison comes in deep in the pocket. Kick on goal, it's a good effort, but it just fades across the face of goal for a minor score. Bandura, 7 8 50, Northcote Park, 10 10 70. Michael Hogg with the stats. Uh, inside 50s in the final quarter, 6 to 4 Bundaroo's way, but that was their first score, and that was Harrison's fourth mark inside 50 for the game. Chewy Scanlon now at full back looking to bring it in. He's got uh, the Ruckman Flynn there. There's a couple converging on him, but the kick was good enough to not make him have to work too hard for it. Now he's going to give the handball back to Scanlon there in the back pocket. He goes long, oh, and it's a beautiful kick. Switch. It has been beautiful kicks from Paul Scanlon all day. And now the overlap. Good work there by Delidio with a long ball inside 50. Chance for a mark there over the top, and it is a beautiful mark inside 50. Pappas has taken another one, and he's going to line up from about 45 metres out. Paul Scanlon, we mentioned last week, he's almost like a quarterback, like Josh Woolahan at Heidelberg. Yep. Flynn there, the Ruckman, doesn't want to kick, obviously, gives the handball off. Scanlon, he's under the pr under pressure, but he still opens up the ground, a spearing kick. They had men on, Morris is all by himself at centre-half forward. Deledio went longer and Pappas took the strong mark, but that first kick's what opened up the ground. That kick on goal was a helicopter punt on goal and some minor score. He sort of plays the Brendan Goddard role, uh, and he does it very well for Northcote Park. They, they uh, look to use him at every opportunity. Um, he, tr he tries to run up behind the back of contest and get uh, handball received. And he, and he works through the midfield, and yep. also he gets down back to help out his own left with the, uh, the kick-out cuties. It's 71 to 52, so he approaches a 10-minute mark. Long kick-out, standing underneath it, though, oh. and taking the big mark over the top. Well, standing underneath was Michael O'Connell, but his teammate, Violato, jumped over the top, kicks inside, oh. might have just found his... Teammate then the lead. I think he has. He's got a big switch going on. And he kicks into the space and moving forward and taking this mark is Sean Lorenzini. Mark taken 35, 40 meters out from goal. Slight angle. He's a left foot kick. He's going to kick from the scoreboard pocket here at Preston City Oval and this one here if it goes through will make it pretty tough for Bandura. I feel like this is a good position for him to be taking this kick Lorenzini. He's usually a beautiful long left foot kick. This is no exception. It's definitely got the distance. Is it going to stay straight? No, it's just faded out to the right. It's going to be one behind there so a little bit of a let off there for Bandura. It's now a 20 point game exactly. 52 plays 72, uh, 7 goals 10. Uh, playing 10 goals, uh, 12 there, so 52, 72, t uh, 20 point game. Bandura to bring it in from fullback again. This is Hyde, it's a long kick out from uh, fullback. He tries to find Dennis over the back, and the uh, Northcote Park boys just went under the ball. Dennis was able to take the easy mark. He now goes long to Cloak. We've seen this a couple of times today. Cloak and Dennis just kicking long to each yeah. other, and uh, Harrison is one out in the goal square. If they can get it down there quickly, there's no one to block this off. Harrison's ah. going to get it again. He's taken another mark, and could this be Paul Harrison's day? This is the way, or what quick moving to the forward line does now, because we've seen McNeese go up a third man up a couple of times today. That time there, because it was an open forward line, he knew he couldn't afford to do that. It would have left Marshall all by himself yep. at the foot of the pack. He didn't go, and 
you know, you just saw the strength of Harrison there, just pushed off uh, his, his opponent there in concert on, and he took the mark, but a chance now for goal number six, and it'll bring the margin back to 14 points. The old 11-point play. We saw a goal against Bandura in the second term. Can it go their way? And this one, I reckon him, oh, oh, 40 might have just snuck that one through over the goal post, so just a minor score. Harrison with two behinds for the term, and Northcote Park now leading 10 12 72 to Bandura's seven goals, 11 53. And it's Paul Scanlon kick out again. We have gone nearly 12 minutes in this quarter, and Northcote Park's actually extended the lead so far this term. So that kick out, it's not the greatest by Scanlon, but it's still got to uh, Carter on the Tough. bounce. Carter pushed off the tackler. Got it out to Deledio, now to Lorenzini, missed him though by hand, and it's going to trickle out of bounds. Wasn't tidy there by Matthew Deledio, and the ball out of bounds for a throw in. Just saw his brother Brett down there sitting in the grandstand watching him play. Possibly wearing the 17 for Richmond next year. Yes. Definitely a candidate. It might be another Northern Football League player though. Yep. In fact, it's yep. uh, Trent Cotchin. Is that ball slapped on? Santoro, left foot, swinging it towards the goal square. Would Scanlon drop what he should have taken, then he fumbled the football, allowed David Mitchell to get involved. Still the ball to be won. Picked up now, I think it's Santor again. Gets a quick snap on goal, getting back though, Morris. Little dinky kick, it's gonna make its way over a fortunate bounce, looking for Scanlon, doesn't get to him though, but Carter, Hamble, O'Connell. Now they're working on that far wing in the hands of Deledio. He kicks it now into the space of Flynn. He is the Ruckman, doesn't probably isn't used to running with the football. Kicks it long to full forward. Oh. Violato flew. Ball falls. Here's this could be the sealer. And oh. another let off there. Running into that goal there. Might have been uh, was it Rajab running in for that shot and goal? It was. A minor score. Should have kept running and as a coach, you just say just the traditional drop punt surely would have put that one through. He went to dribble it, didn't get the desired bounce, minor score. 10, 13, 73, play 7, 11, 53. Long kick out to Dennis who almost takes the mark but uh, the man in front there did a very nice job getting in front of Dennis and blocking his run to the footy and that's a nice mark taken there on the outer side. A little short chip kick and moves slightly closer to goal. I think that's Morris there who's now got the chance for a set shot. He's deep in the pocket again. We've seen a lot of shots from this position today. Uh, deep on that right forward flank right in front of the scoreboard out there. And Doug Morris, he's a beautiful long kick of the ball. Do you think he's got the journey from here? I reckon he does. I just realised now that Morris taking his mark. I think what I called his goal, so he kicked one like that last week. That was in fact Hogan who kicked that goal. And these two are well, they're identical to each other almost. Both with the shaved head, the, the stocky build, and they run hard at the footy. And it's uh, easy to get them mixed up. But Morris has kicked one. Can go for a second now. Long shot on goal Whoa. from 50. Won't quite have the distance. Big fly for the back from O'Connell. Ball falls to the front of the pack. Plenty of numbers around it. Bandura now extracting the ball into the hands of Marshall. Handball outside, now they're kicking long. One on two, Santoro fl flew from the back. Deledio went down to the ground, perhaps got in his back. The umpire agreed, free kick to Bandura. Lee Santoro now, they have to move the ball in quickly. Cloak had a one on one, but Hogan got back. Oh. Able to get a hand on it, still fell the Cloak, broke one tackle, got the kick on field, well upfield rather, ball bounced in front of Harrison, he's got a shocking bounce there. You no know, luck, but Constantine turns it over, straight to Marshall, got it onto Shaw. He gives off, Farrelly runs into the open goal, and he's missed as well. Both sides wasting opportunities, running into the open goal. Constantine would probably wish he had his time again, just cough the ball up. I think he's expecting the tackle. It didn't come, but I think he'd already decided he was going to give up the handball. A lucky let off, and a chance goes begging for Bandura. 54 now to 73. Kick out oh. the shotgun, and Wunten has given a high one there and it's going to be a, f a mark or a free kick to Moorcroft <laughs> and Harrison's now put him down behind play and Harrison I reckon might be given a yellow card he oh. is, that was just silly by Harrison that's a big loss too he's been the uh, number one and, forward by and the ball's been reversed as well at that I think so oh we'll have to wait and see, we'll just wait for the umpire's decision here Gary Moorcroft was the man who was uh, took the mark and went down initially and we'll just wait on the free kick and it's going to be reversed oh. it's going to be a Northcote Park ball and that's just a brain explosion by Paul Harrison would have been well, close enough to a near certainty more across such a reliable shot on goal ball turned over and now Wunten kicks the ball outside finds McNeese is that the game just there? well it very well maybe it's going to be a moment they'll come back to McNeese kicks inside Ooh. looking for Violato misses him but he's able to tackle Dalbridge Dalbridge still got the handle at McLennan first to the footy tapped it on now for Michael O'Connell ran through oh. the pack was very clean to Deledio he chips it outside for 
Flynn is it waiting under this footy. Handle off. He is a left foot kick now, O'Connell. He can go from here on the 50. Michael O'Connell kicks to the goal square. Mark dropped there by Pappas. Had good purchase on it, but he just slipped out the final stages. And another minor score, Northcote Park, 10-14-74, Bandura, 7-12-54. How good's Mick O'Connell been? Straight back into it, finals intensity, he's been right there for every second of the game so far, he's been brilliant. And now uh, Bandura to bring it in from fullback, here's Carline, he goes with a long kick, might have been actually Palazzolo, uh, that kick wasn't great, landed straight in the arms there of Mick O'Connell, the man we were just mentioning, and he goes in short and there's an uncontested mark to Davies, it's still about 50-55 out where he'll kick it from. You got a Carter here. And he can go to Carter, he's pretty much on his own, he does go out there and he'll take a very easy mark, Nick Carter, that's lax defending from the Bandura boys and, and you can't let this man have uncontested shots on goal. Michael O'Connell is such a, a polished footballer, isn't he? he's mm. a lovely left foot kick and you probably don't realise, well, North, Northwood Park, I guess, <laughs> the team, you don't realise uh, how, how important he is until he's not the side, he's come back in and he's just been so clean and that ball now is chipped up the line and getting forward is Sean Lorenzini marking it. 30 metres, or we kick it from 30 metres out from goal marks at about 25 out. Missed from a similar position earlier in the quarter. This time he's probably 10 metres closer. And I reckon if he kicks this one, as we reach, reach the 17 and a half minute mark of the final term, this might be the sealer as Lorenzini comes in and it is gun barrel straight. And Northcote Park look like progressing to next week's preliminary final. The Cougars 11-14-80, Bandura 7-12-54. Northcote Park with the only two goals of this quarter and with that a 26 point lead. For mine, those four defensive efforts there were simply not good enough. There were four short passes that went to uncontested players, all inside 50. Uh, Davies was there, also Carter, and then eventually Lorenzini. I think there was one there in the middle as well. Um, probably uh, need to be manning up those blokes late in the last quarter if you do want to advance through to the preliminary final, which Northcote Park seriously looked like doing. That one one down there nicely by Sibelena. Uh, rolls in front of Violato, trying to pick that one up was Farrelly, gave a handball. Carter under pressure straight away, got it back out to Violato. Scanlon there to help him out. Scanlon trying to barge through one or two Bundura plays. He's going to get held up, and there'll be a bounce right in front of our wing position here, in front of the commentary. It's amazing, 11 goals and 10 different goal kickers for Northcote Park. His umpire throws that one up. Sibinella won it down nicely to Farrelly. Farrelly oh. quickly around the body, but getting back and taking the mark is Hogan, and he's off straight away. It's a piercing kick oh. through the middle of the ground. A beauty finds Davies. Could have given the Carter instead, opts to play on himself, runs into some pressure. Now finds Carter, can give off one more to Leader. Leader, well, he was almost flat footed, got around two tacklers, kicked up to full forward, and flying across the path oh. and taking a one handed screamer. It might be uh, Pappas who's taking, the, taking that mark. It is Pappas. And uh, from just outside the goal square, this one will surely end the game. How about that kick though by Hogan into Bronick Davies? Brilliant kick and Bronick Davies was so cool through traffic. Got around two or three and that one is popped through by Pappas. He gets his second of the day and the forward line has functioned very nicely for Northcote Park once they've been clean with the footy. McLennan's got two, Pappas just got his second of the day and individual goal scorers all round. Doug Morris, Coden Coleman, Daniel Rajab, Nyabaru Kelly, Sean Lorenzini, Nick Carter, Paddy O'Connell and Matt Deledio have all got one each. So uh, great spread all throughout the day and, and their ball users and have been fantastic and they've been hard at the footy. They've just been the better team all day and I can't really pick a loser on the ground uh, that's worn a Northcote Park jumper. They've been brilliant. Davies again at the bottom of this pack trying to feed it out. Good work by the Bandura boys. That one's Carmuciano. Got it out uh, to Michael Mitchell. He chipped it over the top to Moorcroft who we'd barely seen all day. Ben McDees has done a brilliant job on him. He gets around one though. Here's a chance for his first goal. He spirals that in towards the goals. That's a pretty good kick. He gets his first goal of the day. Gary Moorcroft. He's been well held but he finally gets on the board. That is his 71st goal of the year and Bandura draw it back slightly closer but it's a bridge too far to cross now you'd say Sammy. First goal for Bandura to the city end all day, of course, in that uh, second term, Northcote Park kicked four consecutive goals. This quarter, it's three goals to one. Scoreboard reading 8-12-60, Northcote Park 12-14-86. As uh, Moorcroft gets one, what looked to be a consolation goal on the margin, still out at 26 points now, despite that one going through. Sibinella flies there against uh, Flynn. Sibinella won it down, hard underneath the bottom of that pack. Looks like it's Noldrit. And uh, he's wrapped up stats this quarter, Michael. It is three goals to one to Northcote Park. Uh, Bundura do have the ascendancy with the clearances. They've gone eight to four this quarter, and it, well, it's going to be eight to five now. With, uh, Davies getting clear. As Leader now gets that handball, can stream inside the centre forward, kick long to the top of the square. Violato flies, and Violato takes the one on mark, one on one mark there on the tip of the goal square, and. Uh, 
over the top of Stalas there it looked like and well Morkoff got the quick reply we said this one will be just as quick back down the other end. And this can be the 11th goal scorer of the day here if Fialato pops this one through for Northcote Park. And they've got 13 for the day now and this game you would say is all over. Uh, Bundura would have to kick six goals unanswered with Northcote Park not scoring one and their, their pressure and, and the message that Jason Heatley gave them at the start of the last quarter, you deny control, deny control and be hard with your defensive running, they've done that pretty much all quarter, uh, they've, they've been brilliant pretty much the whole game I'd say, apart from that little lapse we were speaking about in the third quarter where Bundura got on top there and also the lapse at the start where Paul Harrison was allowed a few too easy uh, marks and free kicks but they've been brilliant throughout the middle of the ground and in the back line all day and they're going to fully deserve this win and spot in a prelim final. Good clearance by Flynn. He picked it up after his own tap, kicked it inside 450. McLennan at the fall of that pack. He's uh, going after it. Now Coleman does some nice work. Gives out a handball. Another chance for a goal. Letter goes inside 50. Almost a mark over the back there. It's, it's going to be a free me. kick though. Uh, Carl Lyon's going to take it there for Bundura. And now he switches it out wide. Moorcroft in a one-on-one. -on -one. He used his body to good effect to get around Morris and then gave a little handball back. Carmuciano back to Moorcroft. Now working their way through. High up and under kick in the air, tries to find the Ruckman there over the top in Dennis, he tried to take a mark and then it was off the hands of David Mitchell and went out of bounds right in front of our commentary position. So it's uh, 22 and a half minutes played, final term, it looks like Bandura will be going out in straight sets, trailing here 13, 14, 92 to 8, 12, 60 throw in, gets to the back, Flynn flicked it over, Palazzolo running through, broke that Lorenzini tackle, Cloak. kick long, nope. Cloak, gonna get a free kick for that one, being held against Woodson. Hogan was the one who came through and took the mark with um, a lot of holding done off the ball there and Cloak gets a deserving free kick. Wunton's arguing that he was the one who was hurled but to no avail, he's still having a chat to the umpire now. Don't think yeah, that one would be reversed. <laughs> Cloak was great in that third quarter, wasn't he? He really got the side back in the game but just hasn't yep. really been, been sided. I guess the ball hasn't been down as often and when it has there's always been a lot of North Park defenders getting back but a chance here to kick a second goal comes in and kick off the boot is pretty good. So Cameron Cloak gets a late goal here for Bandura, but as you can tell from the, uh, the little applause that the Bandura fans can sign to knowing that uh, this will be the last time they see their side in 2012. Bandura, nine goals, 12-66. Northcote Park, 13-14-92. And as you said in the third quarter, he probably needed to be down in the forward line uh, from the start of the game. I know that they were they were stretched defensively without Hyatt and Shelton, who are top-class defenders for Bandura this year, and they had to throw him back there. But um, it, it, he's just needed in that forward line as that presence, and, and they structure up a lot better when he's there because uh, Harrison can take a... Uh, lesser opponent somewhat. Uh, now coming through the middle of the ground, Michael Mitchell does very nicely. A uh, little pass up to Carmuciano. He can give it back. Sorry, it was Mitchell. He could have given it back to uh, Michael Mitchell, but he decides to go <laughs> inside forward 50. Just volleying that one uh, was Anthony Hogan straight back out into the middle of the ground. Trying to pick that one up was Farrelly. Good tackle laid there by Sivanella. A uh, couple of players at the bottom of this pack. One of them is Farrelly. Breaks through now. Nice long kick inside forward 50. Cloak and Wunton again. Wunton does very well to spoil it off. Now Lorenzini running uh, very defensive towards his uh, goal line. Dennis is going to break through here and kick a goal. Uh, there was some poor defensive work there. Couldn't get the handball chain going and uh, there were a couple of little fumbles in the goal square and Matty Dennis took advantage of that opportunity, put through his first goal of the day. Uh, Bandura still trailing by a bit too much, you would say. Yeah, it's going to be uh, all too much to, to hold in from here as uh, the score moves to Bandura. 10 goals, 12, 72. Northcote Park, 13, 14, 92. So it's still a 20 point buffer in favour of, oh, of Northcote Park, rather. Of course, uh, Northcote Park with five of the, f of the first six goals in this quarter, ensuring that uh, the game won't, uh, well, won't be a nail biting, biting finish for their fans as that ball is won again from, from Bandura from the middle of the ground. Long kick inside. Wilton leads Cloak to the ball though, and he's going to run out of the fence. <laughs> Kicks it out wide, looking for Doug Morris on the far wing. Has to beat Michael Mitchell. Ball bounces towards Mitchell. Can cut inside now. He's got Braden Shaw there standing for the foot. He can give up the quick handball to Palazzolo. Been very good, Michael Mitchell. Opted not to as Shaw goes back to Michael Mitchell on the far wing now. Cut, tries to cut inside. Morris is having none of it. He makes him kick around him. A long high up and under. Oh. And Cloak gets to the front of the pack and takes the big mark. This Nearly 26 minutes played. Could, could potentially make it interesting if this one goes through. Northcote Park, uh, well, the Bandura mids rather really stood up in the last five minutes, so as you see Scanlon running back onto the field. He'll know he'll be taking his kick out if this ball goes across the face of goal, but he might not have to worry, because I reckon that ball's going to sneak in from Cameron Cloak, 
and he kicks his third goal after, of the afternoon as we reach the 26 minute mark. It's Bandura, 11 12 78, Northgate Park, 13 14 92, and perhaps a, a sneaky little chance. All of a sudden, it's back to 14 points, and we thought this game was dead about five minutes ago, but uh, the, what Jason Heatley was stressing at three quarter time, deny the ball to Bandura. They haven't done that in the last five minutes, and Bandura have come in uh, nicely and kicked a couple of goals. So they've drawn it back to 14 points now, so it's very. Uh, very dangerous if they get another one and possibly draw even closer. But now we're back in the middle. Here's uh, one down by Sibonella. Tries to get it to Mitchell, but hacked out of the air nicely by McNeese. Tries to get it to half forward. Now there's a couple of plays. Oh, good handball. Here's Letter. Gives it off to Mills. This will seal the game. Runs in 20 metres out. Easy as you like. Jake Mills dobs it straight through the middle. Northcote Parker going through the preliminary final to play here next week against Montmorency. It's going to be a massive game, but Bandura got to be disappointed with the uh, the way that they haven't been able to really uh, stamp their advantage for long periods of this game. Well that was almost as if uh, Northcote Park realised, gee we've let them back in here, we, we better wake up again and uh, as, soon yep. as, as soon as they wanted to, they, they, they keep that goal back against the flow as we reach the 27 minute mark, but uh, that surely is the final nail in the coffin. Jake Mills kicks his first, gets on the score sheet now and adds another goal kick. It's now 12 for Northcote Park, leading 98 to 78, a good bounce, if Flynn wins it down. To Scanlon, got the handball on the outside, it's turned over, Scanlon goes again, but he's quickly wrapped up, the ball's still in the centre square. That three and four minutes I reckon there to Bundura, is very quick goals to uh, Cloak twice and, and also to Matthew Dennis. They win the centre clearance in, in the hands of Camusciano, kicks out wide and finds the teammate there. It's Palazzolo. Palazzolo now going long down to the flank, plenty of numbers. Oh. Daniel Flynn goes back and takes a fine mark running back into the pack, and he'll just hold the footy, handballs it off to the, the better user in Lorenzini, looking for Scanlon, flew, ball falls to the front of the pack, Bandura with numbers, Shaw, gives it off now, the kick inside, Palazzolo looking for Lord, but the siren sounds as he goes to do that, and Northcote Park will progress through to the preliminary final. Final scores here, Northcote Park, 14-14-98, defeated Bandura, 11 goals, 12-78, a 20 point margin. In the end, as the Cougar song plays over the PA system, goal kickers here for Northcote Park. In fact, we'll go to a break and when we come back, we'll give all the other stats and the goal kickers, try to avoid speaking over the top of the club song. <laughs> it's Northcote Park by 20 points, advancing through to the preliminary final to take on Montmorency on your local station, 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. No worries, mate. Cheers. Yeah, it's perfect. Sensational. Quite a few people streaming us as well. At least at eleven at the moment. That's yeah. I put. I always put the link on our website. So hopefully they've um, just gone on the website, saw the link was there, and just just tuned in, which is always good to hear. Yeah. Okay. Sensational, thanks, mate.
Welcome back to the NFL match of the day where Northcote Park has defeated Bandura by 20 points. Final scores, Northcote Park 14-14-98. Defeated Bandura 11 goals, 12-78. The goal kickers today for Northcote Park, well, their 14 goals came from 12 separate goal kickers as they get a nice round of applause from their fans as they go into, uh, into the change rooms. The goal kickers for Northcote Park, two each to Mitch Pappers and Brock McLennan, including a goal of the day contended by Brock McLennan running into the forward pocket Running for the band, we see Paul Harrison gets cheered off from the field. So there we say that'll be the end of it. It's been a great career for Paul Harrison, a, a best and fairest winner at Bandura, a Premiership player in 2011, and uh, unfortunately his uh, his career comes to an end today uh, with a loss against Northcote Park. Back to the goal kickers, McLennan kicked two along with Mitch Pappas, one each to Mills, Delidio, Patrick O'Connell, Nick Carter, Julian Violato, Sean Lorenzini, Nia Borrelli, Daniel Radjip, Coden Coleman, and Doug Morris. Uh, for Bandura, Harrison kicked five, so he went out uh, in style, kicking the five goals. Clyde kicked three, and one each to Gary Moorcroft, Matthew Dennis, and Michael Mitchell. Michael Hogg had all the stats for the day, and he's about to give it to us now. Yeah, the centre clearances for the day were.